yeah. August, part two of the lava bowl. Lava bowl? Part two of the lava bowl. Heading over to Orange County Convention Center. It's early, it's like 6.59, and uh, I'm excited. I don't sound excited, but I'm excited because I'm tired, but I'm gonna get more awake and then I'm gonna be more excited. But we have a lot of, got a lot of mods on the car, new stuff on the car since uh, the first event at the Lava Bowl in July. We got the shocks, Coney adjustables, we got the H&R springs, we got the new alignment, got some more negative camber in the rear. Wasn't able to get as much as I wanted in the front. Let's see, the front's a negative 1.1 on the right side negative 0.7 on the left side because I guess that's as far as I could go so that's kind of a bummer I gotta get some camera bolts or something maybe but uh, we're gonna see how it goes it's gonna be freaking cool hopefully and hopefully I'll crush everybody Rah! and here we are again back at the North Concourse this time I'm not following George in I'm following a Mazda Mazda 6 driven by a lady with very short hair and same location, same parking lot, totally different track layout. This track layout is going to be more open, it's going to be bigger, it's going to be faster. Uh, the last track layout was tight and difficult and confining and claustrophobic. But this one's going to be good and oh, there's a person signing the waivers. That's where I'm going. First run with Chris. Gonna go around the autocross track. Start in second gear, buddy. pushing the right amount um, when we came back through that crossover point uh -huh. you were a couple feet too far to my side okay that's why we clipped that cone and it was on your side we clipped yes. it okay um, I think if you were on the same angle just a couple feet over it would have been fine okay um, and then it was good when we got up to the big slalom. I think you tried to go in a little too fast and that caused you to get behind. So we started being wide on each gate. The the one going the that actual way? Yeah, the actual slalom headed back that okay, way. Okay, yeah. I, I feel like you, you were good, but you kind of got delayed. Okay. So it, it was just enough of a delay to where it pushed you a little bit outside on each one. Okay. Um, the car felt good though, and then obviously when we got to the the, the last confusing slalom part, I got lost. I, I I could feel the the confusion for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a bit lost right there because I thought for some reason I thought it was going to come around and go far to left, but you come around and then go right. So yeah, yeah.
SM. And it was up against the first gen RX-7 that cleaned my clock last time. He got me by, I think it was like 1.4 seconds, something like that. I ended up getting him this time by a tenth. Now, to his credit, he, uh, he struggled with the course. He had a little bit of a hard time kind of getting the course figured out, but that's fine. Clean run for clean run. I got him by a tenth of a second, so hell yeah. The shocks and the springs, big difference in how the car performs. Uh, way more planted, not nearly as, as wishy-washy, not nearly as much body roll, so that's great. I've got to kind of figure some stuff out when it comes to tuning. Uh, yeah, and I apologize for the AC being so loud. It's very hot. I got to figure out how to tune it a little bit. I think maybe I can maybe soften up the rear sway bar, maybe stiffen up the front shocks because it's it's got a little bit more of an active rear end now. Uh, but that's it's not bad though. Overall, it's great. If anything, I would prefer to have a little bit more camber in the front, negative camber. That's what I'm going to try to go for with some camber bolts. But other than that though, ex extremely happy. I don't, I don't know what else to say, very pleased. So now on to Lake Tech next month, and uh, I like that venue, it'll be fun, and holy crap, I-4 traffic sucks.